Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update near the eastern end of the western nave, with this statue of the Duke of Rutland by Edward Davis. This statue was displayed at the Great Exhibition before being installed in the historic marketplace in Leicester in 1852, where it remains today. We now travel west along the nave, passing the Fine Art Court, the Broadwood Piano, Dent Clock, Colbrick Dell Dome and Ross Telescope. Turning left we pass under the stairs and between Fratton's two dogs, and into the agricultural department. Facing east from here we see four large display stands, as depicted in this watercolour. Three of these stands include quite steep stairs to an upper level. Let's climb up the stairs of the first of these stands, that of Ransom's and May of Ipswich. This firm had originally been run exclusively by the Ransom family, Robert Ransom having moved to Ipswich in 1789, initially casting plowshares. The agricultural depression of the early 1800s encouraged diversification into other markets, such as casting components for bridges. In 1836 Charles May joined the company, his contributions to the expansion of the company resulted in him being the first non-family member to be made a partner, although he left the company after the Great Exhibition to pursue other interests. Opposite to the Ramsoms and May stand is the stand of Barrett Exall and Andrews of Reading. They manufactured various agricultural equipment, such as thrashing machines, chaff cutters and crushing mills such as seen here. They also manufactured small portable steam engines, similar to the one here, which is a model from the National Museum of Agriculture in Schreiniawa. Next we see the stand of Garrett and son of Layston. They manufactured a similar range of agricultural equipment and steam engines. The Garrett stand is shown in this watercolour. Opposite Garrett stand is that of Edmund Crossgill of Liverpool, who made the most fundamental of machines, the wheel. Wheels, of course, are not limited to agricultural equipment. And if we cross the nave to the carriage department, we find a wall display of Crossgill wheels. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.